Hey, it's Joe Lyons from The Automator, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about what version of AutoHotKey you probably want to be using. Uh, this video is being done in March of 2022, so depending on when you watch it, the things may differ, right? But um, please, before you get going, love it if you'd like this video for me, it really helps me out. All right, so we're going to cover some of the main ones. Let's start on the left here. So V0, which is uh, kind of called vanilla, it's, it's pretty much deprecated and you probably shouldn't be using it. If you are using it, maybe you're still on XP or something. But for the most part, probably want to get away from it. There is another version called AutoHotKey H. It's done by HotKeyIt. Uh, he's been on one of our webinars in the forum uh, covering AutoHotKey H. It, one of the biggest pros about it is it's multi-threaded. It's also very hard to crack. So if you want to uh, have your your code protected, you can en encode it in a way that's really hard to crack. So it's another great one for that. Um, now let's shift on. So that's, that's really the two big things I'm going to talk about those. The rest of this is really going to be talking about version one and version two of AutoHotKey L. Now, the L actually comes from Lexicos. He's the, the main developer. It's taken over set quite a while ago. AutoHotKey L took, um, came out quite a while ago now. The big thing with L was it incorporated the COM objects, you know, in natively. So the whole syntax changed and it's really very straightforward, easy to use. Uh, it's also one of the kind of negatives that a lot of people who are programmers don't like about it is it's kind of a loose structure. You can be very... Um, unwieldy with it and change things. It also has both commands and functions, and uh, it's it's very flexible. However, programmers don't think that's a positive, right? So, which is why version two, which is also by Lexicos, but we're not calling it L because that'd be really confusing. It's stricter, right? They've they've gotten rid of all the commands. It's only functions, and it's so the thing is. If you're not a programmer, it's harder to pick up. It's gonna be a steeper learning curve compared to version one. So also because there's a lot of libraries out there, tons and tons of examples. Uh, I think we have seven Udemy courses based on version one or L. Uh, there's a huge user base that's familiar with it and tons and tons of libraries. If you're not a hardcore coder, if you're not a programmer, this is probably the language for you, at least for right now, to be using. If, um, if you do come in and you want to learn auto hockey and you are a programmer, version two does have a lot of strengths and benefits. I've talked to a lot of people using it. I personally haven't programmed it yet, but there is a lot of pluses to it. GUIs, because they're all functions instead of commands, are simpler and easier. Uh, again, it's stricter, but people who are programmers think that's a good thing, right? So, and I'm not trying to be opinionated here one way or the other as far as what I think, right? I, I personally, I'm not a programmer, so I prefer version one just because I need that flexibility. I'm just not good enough to be in version two. It's, it's kind of the way I look at it. Although at some point I will probably convert over because the, here's the thing, version two is the future. It's what auto hockey later is going to shift to. And what we're trying to do in the auto hockey community is not have like a thing with Python people stuck between version two and version three for years. It was really confusing. So at this point though, right now, if you're new to AutoHotKey and you're just learning it, version L is a great language to be using. If you're a programmer, I would highly recommend version two. So check those out. Hope that helps you understand where we are right now at this point in time. And uh, let me know in the comments here if you disagree with what I've said and what version you're using. I'd love to hear it. Thank you.